Gorlitsky races marathons while paralyzed. When you set a goal for yourself, you find out what your limits are. You then start thinking outside the box. To walk, Adam uses an exoskeleton. When I'm in this exoskeleton, I don't feel disabled. I feel what I call re-enabled. It's a pretty incredible feeling. He feels a need to get it out there. He's a test pilot. We're here, old man. He's also trying to break a world record. You know, in a weird way, it's kind of a good time to be paralyzed. Right. Yeah. Yep. Make it the no, I, I, I got it. I got it. All right. Growing up in the Gorlitsky family, I was just obsessed with sports and athletics. Grew up playing basketball, ran track and cross country in high school. There was a lot of things that I thought I would be when I turned 19 years old. My entire life did a 180. We get a phone call. It was from clergy at the hospital. The day was December 30th, 2005. And my car did a 180 and uh, crashed into the median. I knew something was wrong with, with my legs. I didn't know what paralysis really was. I just knew that I couldn't move them. The doctors told Adam and his family that he'd never be able to walk again. It was pretty devastating. They set us down in a room, three or four victims and their family, and very nonchalant. 85% of you guys are gonna be unemployed, overweight, shades down. I looked at him and I said, boy, that sounds exactly like you. And that's when we started to laugh. You either uh, adapt or you die, right? Let's see what we get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Take a rest a moment for you to turn red in the face. Torture is good. The first 19 years of my life, being able-bodied, I really saw myself as this athlete. I had to find myself again. Man. All right, so do that at home, though. Take it a step past your comfort zone. Right? Absolutely, yeah. In the summer of 2015, good I went down for my annual checkup, and they said, hey, this exoskeleton's over there collecting dust. Do you want to try it out? That exoskeleton was one of 250 in the world. It's called the Rewalk, and it's designed to help people like Adam regain mobility and independence. I stood up for the first time on my own, I guess at the time it was 10 years. I just remember thinking, I have to walk the 2016 Cooper River Bridge run using it. I looked at him and I went, oh no, he's at it again. Adam Gorlitsky, a former Wando grad, has been training for the biggest moment of his life, the 39th annual Cooper River Bridge Run. Adam has an opportunity to become the first complete paraplegic to complete the 6.2 mile race with the assistance of an exoskeleton. I kind of treated it like I was training for a track meet again. And I guess I tapped back into that athletic side of me. All right, I'm standing up. And sure enough, he kept working towards that, and you do whatever you have to do to help him, because we're a team. So it took almost seven hours and exactly this many steps right here, 17,932. Um, and it was absolutely like the, the greatest day of my life, you know, to have the entire city of Charleston behind me. It was awesome. And then 10 days later, I'm like, oh crap, what do I do now? It was like this emotional roller coaster. I remember kind of being depressed for a little bit. There's only so long you can ride on the fact that you're the first paralyzed man to walk the bridge run, right? So Adam kept setting new goals for himself. I announced that I'll be walking one million steps wearing my Rewalk Robotic Exoskeleton. And then 2018, I walked the entire Port Landathon half marathon. It took almost 20 hours. I was sleep deprived. It, it was brutal. But I had a big smile on my face. Then, all of a sudden, Adam had competition. His name's Simon Kinleyside. He walked the 2018 London Marathon using his Rewalk exoskeleton. It took him 36 hours and I believe 46 minutes. I want to beat his record. 
I decided to challenge myself to walk the entire length of the Los Angeles Marathon. That was brutal. I can only complete 17.2 miles total. I kind of feel like a loser. You know, he's very vocal that he's like the greatest exoskeleton walker out there. I'm a pretty competitive guy and it does fuel me, motivate me to, to, to train harder. So it's just kind of fun to tap into that. Today, Adam spends his time working with his nonprofit, I Got Legs, to help raise awareness and push mobility technology forward. He's still working towards his million step goal. And he's looking ahead to the 2020 Charleston Marathon, where he hopes to beat Simon Kinleyside's record. I think the best way to sum it up is maybe one word. It's just the word hope. There's access to all this amazing technology. The epidural stimulator, this exoskeleton, stem cell research. The future's looking very bright. People from all over come up to us, oh, you're the inspiration of my life. I wouldn't run otherwise. Hearing thousands of people at the finish line screaming, that's wild stuff. It's really about putting one foot in front of the other and just charging forward. Thanks for watching this episode of Superhuman. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more superhuman stories. And don't forget to visit freethink.com for more stories of people moving the world.